our next guest has been teaching in the ABC Unified School District for 35 years. She started teaching home economics and health and after 13 years moved to the CalSafe Teen Parent Program at Tracy High School. Currently she teaches the specialized courses such as prenatal health, prepared childbirth, parenting for infants, and parenting for toddlers. Please welcome the coordinator of the Teen Parent Program for the ABC Unified School District, Diane Smallwood. So you are uh, you're the coordinator of the Cal Safe Teen Parent Program, mm -hmm. and uh, maybe you can kind of give us a little bit of background, how long it's been around, how long the district's been involved, and you're kind of part of it. Well, we're a regular high school class, um, and a program for teenagers who are expecting or who are already parents, still of high school age. So anybody in our school district who attends one of our schools can be part of the program, and that means the guys as well as the girls. Okay. So we also service uh, teen dads and teen moms. Great. And so is this a newer program? Has it been around for a while? No, it's been in existence for 35 years, but so many people don't know about it. I really want to come on your show and tell people about the program. So in case they find themselves in that situation, which of course we hope they won't, sure. but um, in case they do, we want to be around to provide them with a lot of good information and services that they normally wouldn't get. Um, one of the best things that we have going in our classroom is that we have a kitchen and a bathroom. And nice. that's very important for a pregnant woman. I'm sure that's probably one of their favorite parts. <laughs> it of sure is. Being pregnant, having the <laughs> facilities right there. Right there. And we also have some other wonderful facilities. We also have an infant center. So after the baby's born, the baby can go to the infant center right on the Tracy campus mm -hmm. and then the parents can continue going to classes. Then they just take the infant center as one of their classes during the day so they can see their baby. But if there's any problems, they're called out of their class and go to the infant center and tend to their baby if they need to. Wow. Now you had mentioned it as a class. So maybe for myself or, or um, the viewers, uh, is, is, it, is it an entire program or is it almost like a period in a regular like six period day? Well the people who choose to come to Tracy they have it as a period in, in their regular day so they would have me for one of the classes whichever one fits their needs so if they're pregnant they take prenatal health and prepared childbirth sure. and then they take the regular classes or if sure. they have an infant they would take that class and then have their other classes sure. Um, but you can be in the program and be at any school in the ABC Unified School District. So we serve kids who are at Gar, Cerritos, Artesia, Whitney, um, and all the alternative schools too, like you know independent study, right. all those students. We still go out and visit them and try to give them all the information and provide them with services they need. Now how does that look um, at a regular school site? Well, usually what we do is my nurse that works with us, our nurse practitioner, Phyllis Ballard, is wonderful. She's been with us for 13 years and she is, has on her schedule one, one and a half days a week uh -huh. that she goes to the other schools and she just calls the kids out of class. Oh, okay. And they meet her in the office or the nurse's office and then she talks with them and sees what they need. Then we have packets already ready for them so if they have questions about legal issues, they sure. have questions about a toddler, we have little packets that we can give her or we get it, send a counselor to them. Because we also have counselors uh, available for all of our students. We have a family therapist who has group counseling and individual counseling um, each week. We have a social worker that comes twice a week. We have a nutritionist that is there every other week and gives great lessons on nutrition for the kids. And then our nurse practitioner is there three days a week. So she does a lesson each week, like a health lesson each mm -hmm. week, plus she sees all the students individually. Um, so we try to provide them with lots of services and of course we have our infant center and we take them to WIC um, which gives them coupons for food. Right. We take them on a bus every month um, well, plus lots of other services too. Well it seems like the program is really comprehensive and not just uh, focusing on okay you're uh, pregnant and you still need to do your schooling it's well you're pregnant and how are we going to help you with that situation while you continue your schooling. Absolutely and then we also try and bring in special speakers to help them like um, we have a family law attorney that comes in twice a year to give them the accurate information what the law says about being a minor about custody support parental rights 
emancipation, things like that. Yeah, I would imagine there's lots of cases where other adults are kind of giving them misinformation mm. to kind of scare them or threaten them, and if they can be kind of armed with, you know, what the law says or the truth is, then that definitely puts them in a more powerful position to do what's maybe best for them or their child as opposed to making choices based on you know, misinformation. Yes, so. they do that a lot. There's a lot of misinformation around, so, so we're really happy to be able to give them accurate information and also just give kids support. Right. Um, this is a time that is very challenging in their lives. They have a lot going on, and so we're really happy that we can be there and surprise, give them information and support. How many individuals would you say are in the program? Well, currently we probably have about 100. Okay. Um, I would say about 60 that attend the specialized classes in the program at Tracy. Okay. And about 40 that are in other, at other sites. And then, uh, and that's uh, the usual number you keep about all year. Okay, and so they would kind of cycle through mm -hmm. at about that rate. Mm -hmm. um, of the 100 students that are in the program, how many would you say are, are girls and how many are, are boys? I would say we have, of course, majority that are girls. Sure. Um, so we probably have about 75 girls and about 25, 25 guys. Girls. Oh, great. Mm -hmm. That's great. Well, it sounds like the, the program uh, offers so many benefits. Uh, and even though it's been around for so long, I'd be willing to bet that there's many people, parents and students, who have just, it's kind of been, uh, you know, under the radar for so long just because it's kind of a touchy topic. But, you know, it really offers, um, you know, services that could make a tough situation maybe a little bit uh, more manageable. So That's what we're hoping. So yeah. we really want to let people know that they can contact our program if they need us. Um, even if they um, have questions, they can. You're not sent to our school. It's a voluntary program, um, and being in, being having our services voluntary also. We just have to meet with you to see, tell you what we offer. Mm -hmm. And if you don't want our services, you don't no have problem. to take them. No problem. Is there a phone number that if someone was just interested in getting information uh, that that they could call? Mm -hmm. um, Tracy High School at nine two six zero zero two one. Okay, great. Thank you so much for coming, Diane, today. I, I really think you've kind of brought some information to our viewers that they were unaware of. I know myself, uh, I was kind of uh, unbeknownst to me uh, that this program was as expansive and uh, long-serving as it has been. So thank you so much for coming, and uh, to date you. Well, thank you so much for coming. Absolutely.